think this is a perfect way to start this video. Look at my hair, my lips, uh, my teeth are crooked AF, not the whitest. But guess what? Love yourself. That's it. <laughs> also the belly. Yeah. The hoodie's there and... Oh, by the way, there is a reaction, but I'm just, you know, for cinematic effect, I'm like gonna walk away and... I just play the video. Girls that had surgery, had big butts and big booze were cashing out. I wanted more money. What does I that mean? twin sisters. They always just got attention. So I just had to find creative ways to get more attention. Right. <laughs> I've made the joke before, but we will make it again right off the bat. <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne with an animal Guinness. Still don't understand why he did that, but hope he's well. I've seen a picture that he's not well. So hopefully he's well. Tangent already, probably in the first minute of this video. Forgive me. Your your twins' sisters wanted... No. We're off to a great start. Stop it. Get some help. You wanted to creatively get attention because your siblings were getting attention. I understand that. I have a I have a brother myself, and he's younger, so naturally, the attention just went to him instead of me. I exist. But changing your body in this way—that's that's the way to do it. And attention from who exactly? Because if you're changing your body in this way, are you trying to get attention from your parents or the outside world? I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Spent 500000 on plastic surgery. I don't oh, I want to stop you right there. Goodness gracious me, 500k. Now, I've, I want to make it perfectly clear, right? You can do whatever you want to your body. Within certain limits before it becomes a case of why you're doing this, get a grip of yourself. But for the most part, do what you want, right? But goodness gracious me, 500k. Where are you getting this money from? That's a lot of money, all right? If, if we put it into perspective, right? In essence, you haven't loved your own natural body and you have self-esteem issues. Let's not get it twisted. She does. So much that you spent half a milli. Milli, milli. This is silly, silly. Think of what you can do with 500 That's a house in some places. Maybe not in London. 500k in London would probably get you a shed. And they would probably tell you that the shed also comes with no roof. Because you have to pay extra for the roof. <laughs> I was going to make a joke about like the roof being the protective of the, of the top. And her not having a top. <laughs> no one play me because that other way doesn't work and the way I do now works now I want to get full rib removal all of them <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness you see that was unplanned but let's work with it right I just coughed if I didn't have ribs I think my lungs would have be on the fl I've shat them out Jay, if I, j <laughs> all of them I don't even think one of them should be removed. Thank you very much. Now, we roll it back, right? You can do whatever you want to your body. But when someone wants to remove their ribs, someone needs to step in and say, Hold your damn horses. Stop it. But hey, I mean, what good are the ribs, right? We ain't at a steakhouse. I ain't talking about the lamb ribs. You know, the, you know when ribs are so, like succulent they just fall off the bone that's not what you're not supposed to actually take the ribs out of you all right there's a falling off the bone joke there which is an innuendo in itself so uneducated they think that i'm <laughs> they think that i'm weak i'm none of those things what i well if we're playing devil's advocate here right I don't believe people, if you change your body or anything, that you're weak or you're stupid. But 
to play devil's advocate, it depends how much, right? I'm, ex I'm assuming here by looking at you, you have had countless, right? I don't think this is a one, one job and we're done here. So it, it gets to a point where if you're continuously doing stuff to your body, it does become stupid for obvious reasons, the health risks. Goodness, I don't know what kind of health risks there there are when it comes to certain pieces of surgery. Why did I describe it like that? But I know BBLs are dangerous. I don't know if she's had a BBL. We'll get to that, I'm assuming, maybe. But for the most part, when you put your own health at risk, I think you are stupid. But... Oh, sorry, maybe that's controversial. And you could also say weak mentally, right? Because you've changed your body for outside reasons, right? You, you wanted more attention because you wasn't getting enough, apparently. You didn't change it because you. Now, I, I must stress this because it's the internet and there will always be someone. If you get a cosmetic surgery for health reasons, maybe you are an unfortunate victim of, maybe you've been burned, right? That's okay before someone tries to paint me as a monster here. But, and again, also many, many people get breast enlargements that, and if you're happy and it stops at just, just one, all right? Even though there's health risks as well with breast enlargements, if if you and your doctor agree it's it's the best thing for your own mental then i can't i can't sit here and say don't do it it's not my body do you know what i mean which is kind of hypocritical i guess because no doubt i think i'm going to judge her in this but yeah hopefully that makes sense you can do what you want with your body but if your health becomes a risk but then also I, sh I believe, again, it's just me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I believe you should love the way you are because once you get one surgery, more often than not, it will lead to other surgeries. It, it's not just a one thing. It will, sorry, it will carry on. So hopefully, please just love yourself. I think that's the message. My money is no one's business at all, but people seem to want to make it their business. Sorry. <laughs> what did she say there? I, f I find it interesting. Did she say it's her business? Let's rewind a bit. What I choose to do myself is no one else's business but my own. And what I choose to do with my money is no one's business. At <laughs> well, okay. The money part, I get it. You do what you want. Unless you're doing criminal activities, of course. Then don't do that and police help. But... <laughs> It's your business, it's no one else's business. But I'm assuming you are on social media, right? Because I don't know how you've got 500k willy-nilly to spend. You must be on social media. And I'm assuming you are, right? So maybe I'm going to be slapped in the face and proven wrong. And she's an en- Maybe? Maybe she's an engineer on an oil rig somewhere. Wouldn't that be a great twist? But anyway... I digress. If, if if it's no one else's business and you are putting it on social media, you are then making it people's business because unfortunately anything that goes online, e.g. this video that I'm watching, it's unfortunate but you are open to people judging and making it their business, essentially. Other than when this video ends, the reaction part, I'm gonna move on with my life and I don't care. I don't even know your name. I've forgotten it. I fight with people, but now I got millions of followers. I can't fight with everyone. Okay. I just leave them up there and they fight with each other. It's funny. Like my little followers will fight for me in the comments and I find it very intriguing. Like, wow, you guys love me or really hate me. I just leave it there. <laughs> yeah, because of that laugh. Oh, uh blood i hate that laugh by the way it screams of those movies where 
there's a there's a rich kid and they live off daddy's money. <laughs> it reminds me of Tiffany Stratton, but I like Tiffany Stratton, so it's not a very good example. But you get my point. I don't appreciate the fact that she's kind of put herself on a pedestal there. I let my I let my little followers fight the haters in the comments. Oh, it's giving me bad vibes. You know what I mean? You think you are God's gift. Oh, but nothing about this is God-given. <laughs> this is great banter. About 500,000. To list all my procedures I've done, I feel like it can go on and on. i done- Don't do it. Three breast augmentations. Okay. I've done five BBOs. Just, I don't know what- If you heard the pop noise, it's the sound of my laptop absolutely losing its shit at five BBLs. Five time, five time, five time, five time, five time. This is a five time Booker T would not be happy about. Five BBLs, bro. I'd said it before, BBL is probably like one of the most dangerous because I've literally seen unfortunate women die from BBLs because I don't, I don't, I don't understand the ins and outs of a BBL, but I know stuff is coming out your body and going into your ass. I'll tell you that much. Goodness gracious me, if this is illegal, right, in terms of the doctor doing it, which is most likely some random person in a hotel room injecting cement into you. How do I know that? If you go there, I've reacted to something similar before where a woman was getting injections illegally in her ass. Goodness, I don't know why you would want that. I get it. You want a bigger ass to, to if make yourself feel better in, in today's society when... It's the norm. It's a beauty standard in most cases, I guess. But you get my point, hopefully. But five BBLs, if this is illegal, that's one thing. But this, if this is an, a legitimate doctor, right? You go to the office, they got the nice sign above. They are medically certified and whatever. If it's a legitimate doctor, I'm sorry, but I, I think you should have your license taken away. Because I don't think you should be in charge of people's health here. Don't it's it's cosmetic, right? But it still regards health. I can't class you as a doctor. Because don't get me wrong, I'm presuming I don't know why I said don't get me wrong. I feel like I have to say that every time because of the internet. But I feel like obviously this doctor would know your medical history, right? I'm assuming when you Look at medical records. I don't know how cosmetic surgery works, but surely there's some sort of record. But when you see that she's had before the, four BBLs, three BBLs, two BBLs, where what are these doctors doing? Ain't there someone who's gonna say stop? This is ridiculous. Now I know obviously the doctor's gonna get money for this, right? And at the end of the day, are you gonna turn down the money? This is your client essentially. And you have to give them what they want. But if I was somehow a cosmetic surgeon, at some point, I think I'd have to question my morality. Because am I going to say yes to everything and hurt this person, right? Mentally, they might feel better about themselves. But Lord knows what's happening to their bodies physically. Aside from the enlarging. It's ridiculous. Five BBLs, bro. Just be whoever you want to be. Um, yes, to an extent, you can be who you want to be on the outside. But if you're changing the outside so much, it it means you're not working on the inside. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. I think, that's, I hope that's clear. You can change your outside and be who you want to be. But I think the best way to truly be who you want to be is internally. Is that controversial? If someone dares says this video is controversial or my thoughts and opinions are wrong, you are just advocating then for people to ch keep changing their bodies. Five to 10,000 on maintenance a month. Maintenance? The next uh, procedure I'm planning on getting is smaller breasts. I like my booty, but I just want the smaller. And if I make these smaller, this will make my waist look smaller and my butt look bigger. I've paused it there. If she dares to do that laugh, 
Yeah, that's fake, bro. That's so fake. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna rewind it because I just don't want to see that again. But it's, uh, what? The the women in the comments, right? I can't comment because it, you know someone will call me a pig or something. But to me, that doesn't look natural. I'll say that much. Let me know in the comments. What do you think of her new booty? Booty. It's a funny word. The booty. What do you think of her booty? Does it? Is it? You know? Does it look natural? <laughs> Five BBLs. That's crazy. Five to ten grand on maintenance. I don't even know what that means, to be honest. Maintain. What does maintenance mean? And why are you spending five to ten grand? It's funny. I I don't know what maintenance looks like. In before someone comments, you definitely don't know, or you definitely don't look like you would know what maintenance means. Damn right, I have no idea what it means. I'm assuming nails, maybe. I don't know. Nails? Like hair cutting? What do you maintain about yourself? I don't know. Dentist trips? Well, if you go to the dentist every month, then goodness, you might be rich. And clearly she's rich. Five to ten grand, bro. I don't know yet. What was her name? Stephanie? Look, <laughs> you probably won't after hearing me <laughs> if somehow you watch this. Please just... Give me some money, you know? Since I last appeared on Hooked on Look, you really should consider gaining some weight and get a BBL. You just want instant results. I do. And that's dangerous. You can get hurt. It's dangerous. But so is like a BBL. That's true. Right. I thought I was going to give her the benefit of the doubt and she was describing BBLs as it's dangerous, don't do it. But no, she... She genuinely thinks BBLs are good. If this is your friend, for example, in this scenario, I don't know who this man was, but we'll say it's her friend or something. Why would you recommend to anyone to get a BBL? I feel like you've truly lost yourself at that point because you're not a friend. I'm sorry, but if a friend tries to change you for some reason, you need better friends. I'm really sorry, and, and I'm not talking about your friend trying to change you for the better, right? And if anyone dares tries to spin getting a BBL makes you better as a person. Again, I, I don't know what's wrong with you. Click off this video now because you're probably not going to like anything else I have to say. But if your friend is, is appearance-wise trying to change you, are you, what are you, my friend, or what exactly here? Get a grip of yourself. I woke up one day and something told me to do music and I went to the studio what? two days later and that was my biggest hit song to this day. It's called Two Cars. Two Cars. A million half views in like five months. Like okay. it's just crazy. Like people think I bought the views. I'm like, no, I'm just, you guys like my <laughs> They like it. I'm feeling it. <laughs> Am I going to feel it is the question because I think this makes a nice little detour Let's get in one of these two cars, take a trip down to the YouTubes, and see exactly what this song is. I'm interested. Okay, we're on the YouTubes, and the thumbnail of this is just cleavage in your face. I don't know how this has passed the YouTube guidelines or whatever algorithm, I don't know, but it's ridiculous. Just fuck, clarify That's that. The money. Hello. What's up? Okay, for the sake of copyright, I'm gonna skip ahead, find somewhere where she's like talking or something, just there, sure. Okay, well, just, I'm gonna stop because I don't like that at all. It sounds like you've smoking. What? A massive 69 pack. <laughs> 69 jerks in 2024, great one. It sounds like a, a cat has clawed your vocal cords. You've just gone into the studio and rapped. All right. There's no rapping here. It ain't Christmas. Stop it. Producers, booth people, studio owners, just because you get paid, all right? I get it. 
sometimes tell these people you are not good, all right? Just because you have a following doesn't mean you should go make a song. But this is a bit of a tangent, maybe. What happened to music? <laughs> Genuinely, what is wrong with music? Now, don't get me wrong. Sometimes I understand these songs, they're good for like turning up in the club and stuff like that. But for the most part, I'm not a fan. All right. One of my favorite songs of all time is Tracy Chapman, Fast Car. Does anyone know that song? I hope you know that song. It's an incredible song. Storytelling, perfect. And Tracy herself just lets her voice and her guitar do the talking. Right. I also don't like how overly sexualized everything about the music industry is right now. It seems as if you're if you're a woman who's an artist. It's like you have to be sexual, right, in order to become mainstream or in order to get clicks, views, whatever. It's sad. I tell you, right. It's truly sad. I don't know if that someone is going to call me like an old fart for saying that, but it's ridiculous in my opinion. But let's go back now because I've heard definitely enough of that. Hey. Elion, hey. oh my God. Elion oh my is God. super plugged in. He's Elvia. always with the right celebrities and music people industry. He knows everybody and everyone knows Elion. I don't know Elion. To me, he sounds like he would be a part of the Lord of the Rings, to be honest. Eldion the Elf. A lot of girls I see plastic surgery. Um, I just feel like it betters their life because it just makes you look more like poised, popping. No, first of all, first of all, you never smile like this again in your life, all right? If you see that at the edge of your bed during the nighttime, I need everything that's holy in this world to come and protect me from this red-headed demon that's about to absolutely rip me to shreds. That looks like something out of the Purge woman. How dare this man sit here and say it betters women's lives? How dare you? Makes them poised. What the hell does that mean? I don't know. Makes them popping. In what sense? If I stick a pin in Stephanie, she'd probably pop. But I don't think you mean popping in that sense. I think you mean popping in terms of cool, hip, Wow, look at me, I'm trendy online and in the real world. No, all right? All of this is just wrong. None of this is screaming that we are doing the, the surgeries for ourselves. It's, it's just all for outside attention. That's never good, all right? The outside world is always changing. One day this is cool. One day if you have this type of body, you're hated on but the next day now that same body is loved be yourself please the outside world is changing you being content within yourself will never change S stop this man from speaking any further there's no real female rappers that look like me i'm not black i'm not anything else i'm just mexican you I ex are something else you are not you what are you on about here? Just Mexican. I actually encourage women to get it, but like, don't like rush and get it and, you know, go to the wrong doctor and kind of look crazy. Like a lot of, you know. So do you feel like I went to the right doctor? Oh, definitely. On your page, like. Yeah, yeah, first of all, before we unfortunately progress, yeah, you don't, you definitely look good. <laughs> As he stares into the camera, you can't fool me. You broke the fourth wall there. You don't believe she looks good. You cannot fool me, all right? A professional skit maker who regularly breaks the fourth wall. You can't fool me, all right? How dare this man sit here and say that he actually encourages women to get their bodies augmented. And I'm not talking augmented in the sense of Adam Jensen from Deus Ex. That would be... That would be cool, you know, if we could augment our bodies to have powers, essentially, I'd be on board. But not, not this case, because she's gone too far. You're sitting here genuinely encouraging people 
and I feel for the younger generation, even though I'm part of them, so I don't know what I'm talking about here, but maybe I am an old soul. But I feel sorry for them. They're impressionable as it is. TikTok, bombarding, bombarding? Bombardments on social media telling you how to look, the social beauty standards. You need to look like this if you want men to like you. You need to look like this if you want to go on TV, etc., and this man is genuinely sitting here saying, yeah, I encourage it. Jail. Go to jail. I want to do a breast reduction. Then. Production? You already you look dumb? good. So it's like, you don't really need to, you know? I mean, but why would you want to get reduction? Like, Because I feel like my waist will look smaller and my butt will look It'll bigger, show more. Yeah. And I feel like people will pay attention more. My face. face. That is so true. Shut your damn mouth. How about that? Do you know, do you find, do you see the irony? Do you see the hypocrisy? You've enlarged everything for outside attention, but you want people to focus on your face. Just how does that make sense? And now you want to do more and reduce. Do you see my point earlier? It will never stop. You can have surgery for one thing and you've changed for that particular thing to appease someone. I don't know who it is but I guess the music industry, but now you want to reduce them so you will have another surgery. You will put yourself at risk once again. It just, it will never stop. You don't, her, her issues here come from the outside and not within. It's like happiness, right? Happiness should come from within, not the outside. This is just, who is? There is someone like blowing a whistle or something. I don't know if that, if this picks it up. Oh, but it must be Stephanie's brain. <laughs> if you can hear that in the background, I'm sorry. Here. Right. No, I, I agree with that. I agree with that. <laughs> well, I think men prefer plastic. Shut up. Opinion. Shut up. Shut your damn mouth, Eldion. All right. Get a grip of yourself. If we could give him the ring so that he turns invisible, just like Frodo, I'd appreciate that very much. What men, what man prefers plastic? If right now you are watching this and you are a man and you prefer plastic, again, someone might call me a pig. Someone might say I'm trying to dictate how women or what women should do with their own bodies. That's not what I'm saying. If you want to look like Stephanie, I can't, I can say don't do it. But at the end of the day, you're going to do what you want, right? You're not going to listen to me. But I don't prefer plastic. So does that make me not a man? I don't get it here. Get a grip of yourself. If you have flaws, if you have insecurities, I will make sure that you don't feel as if they're flaws and insecurities. I'll kiss them all, all right? Someone might find that weird, but hopefully it makes sense. I will love you just the way you are so that you know it's life as long as you also love me. For, for me and my voluptuous ass. Hey, do you know what? I'm kind of lucky that I didn't need a BBL. Because my ass be fat, baby. Yee. Get a grip of myself, I'll tell you that much. Chloe well, ribs removed. What the um, hell is that? Bitch? Yeah, she actually I got did them it. done last year. And basically, you don't really need them. They don't protect any organs. But I was really happy with the results. And... I just want to be really fatigued, so I want to get the breast reduction, and I want to get full rib removal. Like, all of them? All of them. I wouldn't say stop completely, but, like, obviously, like, once you get the rib removal, I feel like you're, you're already perfect, so it's like... So, breast reduction, rib removal, and that's it. And then that's it. Get this man in jail, bro. Get this man in jail, because he's not even saying, don't do that, that's ridiculous. The ribs protect important vital organs. No, go ahead, and once you remove them, then you can stop your perfect. Uh -huh, because the ribs are the issue here, isn't it? I've gone to a very shitty restaurant. The ribs are an issue. Get a grip of yourself. Please, everyone, don't remove bones from your body. Unless, obviously, for medical reasons. And I don't know what kind of medical reason, but there must be a medical reason out there where you must remove a body. You must remove a body. FBI. That's not what I meant. You get my point. I want to say, none of this makes sense. You want to look petite. Once again, I sound like a broken record. What did Eminem say? 
I sound like a broken record every time I break a record. I sound like a broken record every time I make a valid point. You want to look petite, so why did you increase and enlarge everything then? It doesn't make sense. Again, you are not pleasing yourself, you're pleasing the outside world, and you just keep on changing. It's not good. It's a waste of money? You must be cake in AF. <laughs> because you've had five BBLs. <laughs> but I'm talking cake in the money. Because 500 grand and you're still spending more. Just give me some money. <laughs> I have two siblings. They're okay. twins. And they're girls. And okay. it's me, the baby. Growing up with so many sisters, it just made me be competitive of who can get more attention and who can be the star in the family. Everybody I mean, always like twins, twins, twins. I'm I like, get That's it. so cool, but what about me? So I just thought of creative ways to have the most attention. Uh, yeah, I'm going to stop you there because your creative ways of getting attention has put your body, your health at risk. I can't obviously speak about my experiences with my brother because they wouldn't really relate to Stephanie and her sisters. And, I mean, if she is watching this, I don't think she would give an absolute zero shit, all right? She wouldn't care. But why couldn't you just change your hair color? Do you know what I mean? Some crazy color. Make your hair... What's a crazy color? I don't really know. No color's really crazy, right? White. That's kind of a striking color, isn't it? Like, if you guys obviously watch wrestling and you know Jade Cargill, the, the white hair, it's very, like, whoa! Like Storm from X-Men. Why couldn't you just do that? Instead, you had to go and alter your body very dangerously. It just, it's again, again, it's outside. We're seeking outside validation. None of this is for herself. And that's where I'm drawing the line, right? Again, I don't know if I've mentioned it. I probably did. I ramble. I forget what I say. But if you're doing something cosmetically to better your, your own sanity, right? I see a lot of people get nose jobs and, and that's it. Their nose, perhaps they don't like a certain part, like maybe they got a bump here and stuff. Growing up, I mean, look, I didn't really, my nose, I, I got bullied for it. People say, oh, big nose, Pinocchio, Gonzo. Who remembers Gonzo? But you just, I, me personally, even if you have the mental strength to just do one cosmetic surgery, and that's it. You're going to get nothing else. I still believe that you should embrace yourself naturally, who you are. Because you might be mentally strong now. But then in the future, something else might pop up. And you might say, hey, I got my nose done. It wouldn't hurt if I do this as well. Maybe maybe that makes me seem bad. You know, if, if you dare in the comments, actually, say that I'm I'm wrong and... I shouldn't, I shouldn't be telling people, love yourself for who you are. Don't get surgeries that put yourself in danger. Don't seek outside validation because it will never be enough. You will continuously seek validation for the rest of your life. If you genuinely think that what I'm saying is wrong, you need to get a grip of, you need to look in the mirror and ask yourself, why is that wrong? Why is it a bad thing? To love yourself for who you are. Tell me! Okay, okay, settle down, pal. I just don't really care what I do with myself anymore. I think that this and this is a lot for them, but they got over it. That's another thing then. Thank you for proving my point. They don't care anymore. So you've done all this to get their attention, but now they've just moved on. You know, it is what it is. So what was the point? Do you see my point? Maybe I'm reaching there, but if they don't care anymore, then why'd you do it? All I have is my lips done, mm -hmm. some Botox, but Ooh. I just feel like my top lip. All just, you have. It is like my, it doesn't stick out like my bottom. And okay. I don't know what to do, and I keep filling it up, and it's just not doing what it needs to do. It is doing what it needs to do, because well, ironically, it's natural that the bottom lip sticks out further than the top lip. They're not supposed to be just you know like this. Is that equal? I guess it is. Don't just it's, what is uh, stop it, stop it. You have to stop it, please. 
Why is she here, by the way? Why why do the producers feel the need to get her doing more stuff? So oh, I think what we need to do first is definitely dissolve a little bit of that filler. Dissolve. Because I'm definitely seeing a little bit of migration right there at the top. Migration? We're talking about lips here. And we've used dissolve and migration. I don't know what's going on here, but frankly, I don't care. I'm going to migrate further into this video. But I want to make the point that if someone describes your lips as we have to dissolve something, run? Money on me. It's just kind of like that, except I'm just going to be with the microfilm. I feel like she's going to so laugh. I'm excited. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever stop getting plastic surgery. Like, I definitely want some kids, and I'm for sure going to do those mommy makeovers. And one day when I'm an older lady, I'm going to do the little mini facelift. I just want to keep myself looking how I want to look. Because again, in the day, I go to sleep at night with myself and I got to wake up in my own body. What are, what are you talking about, man? You go to sleep with yourself, but you wake up with the intention of making outside parties like or appreciate the way you look. So you're defeating the purpose here of going to sleep with yourself, that phrase. You're negating everything you're saying. But I want to make the point about her saying mommy makeovers when she has kids and stuff. I sincerely hope, right, with all due respect, that you do not instill this mentality into your own children. Because I mentioned it earlier, it, it, the, the world uh, is bombarding you constantly with various, you need to look like this, that, whatever. And kids are impressionable as they already are social media etc but then to have your own mother now i might be reaching here maybe she means like you know cute dress ups whatever mommy makeovers but if if it progresses i mean and you tell them you know you should get a bbl like you told the man earlier i feel for those kids please everyone again if you are someone who's saying that I'm harsh here, etc. Hopefully now you see my point. Don't do that. Ah, oh, just say to people that judge me on my list. Go be happy. Don't I worry happy. about me. I'm not worried about you. Don't give a Okay. <laughs> yeah, the fact that this laugh has somehow you, you're treating it as if it's a signature laugh. <laughs> I dislike you strongly solely because of that laugh. I'm happy with myself. Once this recording and editing is done, I forgot about you. I don't care, but I do care. And, and I will make this point because I care in general, as, as, as surprising as it might seem. I do care, all right? So I will leave with this, the main take point. Love yourself for who you are, all right? You can have a flaw that you might think is a flaw. Someone else, which is ironic because we're talking about outside validation. But someone else will love you for that flaw. They will make you feel as if you do not need to change a damn thing. And Eldion needs to be in prison because he's encouraging her to remove her ribs. I hope she never actually did that because I don't, I think this episode is like a few months old and stuff. So please, basically, just love yourself. Just be you. If you needs changing in your opinion, hit the gym, do natural things, because nothing about this is natural, especially five BBLs. You're putting yourself in serious risk of dying. I'll see you guys next time. And again, love yourself. I'll repeat it and I'll carry on repeating it. Take care of yourselves. Much love. Peace. I'll see you next time. And if you do want to watch Hooked on the Look, no. If you want to, if you, if, 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 so, just end the video there. I'm not going to plug anything.